Hi everyone, this is Mrs. Glansman. I am taking a video to explain my rules and procedures in physical education class. I have been teaching PE since 2005. I graduated from Grand Valley State University. Some of these things I learned in my classes in college uh, regarding classroom management and some of them I've just um, tweaked over the years. These are my basic rules and procedures. I have about six to 700 students every year, and I have a, a wonderful advantage, which is I have many of my students from kindergarten all the way through fifth grade. Some of them even start in pre-kindergarten. So the rules and procedures are same each and every year, and these have proven the test of time. I've used these for several years, and it's worked very well. I'm very consistent with these rules and procedures and it helps my students to know exactly what they are expected to do when they are in PE class. So first we'll start with our social contract. Be safe, be respectful, and be responsible. And this is actually our school-wide expectation. So in PE more specifically, move your body safely. No crashing, bumping, or sliding. Use equipment appropriately. Be respectful. Listen to the teacher. Follow directions. No put downs. Be responsible. Come prepared and ready to participate. Give a good effort and clean up nicely. Our vision is to learn, have fun, and grow stronger. Whenever the kids come into the gym, they get ready for their warm-up exercises right away. So we are moving our bodies immediately, getting warmed up. We often will do the train game that is a running or walking activity. We have lots of water breaks. Students can use the bathroom anytime during playtime, just not during instruction time. Our school uses the quiet T as our symbol for being quiet. And then they can check each other if a student needs a reminder to follow the rules. Whenever they are on their rainbow spots, that means it is instruction time. So students are expected to sit up and look and listen. I always project pictures and things on the gym wall while I give instructions. So there are lots of visuals and students know exactly what to do. If they want to speak, they raise their hand. Our playtime rules. Play nicely, play safely, and follow the rules of the game. We talk about sportsmanship each and every day with every class. So we talk about playing fair and following the rules, being respectful to your teammates and the other team. And we always say good game. Our rule, when I blow the whistle, we freeze or we do a quiet T and the equipment goes down on the floor. So for example, if we're using balls, the balls go down. We don't continue to kick or throw the balls when I blow the whistle. And this is a big one here. We always clean up nicely. When it's cleanup time, we do it quickly. We carry the balls or whatever equipment we're using and we clean up nicely. Other rules for safety, we do not slide. We do not scream during our games and we should be always watching where we're going, trying not to crash or fall down. Of course, in sports, sometimes that happens, but we try our best to learn about moving safely. We do not wear our hoods up on our heads during our activities. That is not safe. And we talk about how we can be successful for each of our activities. The students always are reminded about personal space. Everyone has an imaginary bubble around their bodies. We do not want to crash or bump into people. And I use this picture to teach the kids that we are not getting in each other's personal space. We are being respectful of our space. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.